All right, well, I fixed my mic. I am here with yoga instructor Jana Webb. Jana, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Nice to well, meet you. Well, maybe we should, I feel like maybe we should just do a high five <laughs> high or something. Five, yeah, it's, sure. like we're, it's a very active segment we've got here. Mm -hmm. And you, you, uh, you've been a yoga instructor for quite a while? Yeah, yeah. almost seven years. Seven yeah. years, wow. Yeah. Prof yeah. Professional. Yeah. And you've been working with some athletes, too. Yeah, that's right. What, yeah. got, you in, uh, what got you thinking that you, you might want to work with some athletes? Did just, they reach out to you? They kind of reached out to me. It happened yeah. really organically in Calgary. I was working with the National Sports Development Center. Okay. And I started working with university teams and elite athletes yeah. out of high school and then I got referred to the CFL, the Calgary Stampeders. Really cool. And they moved to Toronto because there's six professional sports teams yeah. here. So yeah, more <laughs> work out here. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So, and, and is that kind of what you're doing full time now is working with athletes yeah. or do you I, work with like average people I work average with average people, people. I work with moms. I work with yeah. high-end executives. Cool. I work with, you know, the professional athletes. Yeah. yeah. It was but, just a couple of years ago when I started to hear that professional athletes are really taking to yoga. Absolutely. As an alternative uh, way to, you know, improve flexibility yeah. and endurance and things like that because like we said in the, the opening of the show, you, you typically think of football players as these big, bulky, you know, alpha male type bodies with big, big muscles. Exactly. But, but uh, yoga targets a different area of the body, different muscles. Yeah, right? and we primarily, I mean, the programs that I create primarily focus on the strength element as well as okay. adding the flexibility into that, cool. the balance, the core balance, the mind, breathing techniques to really? calm the mind amongst all the chaos and the stress <laughs> that comes along with being an athlete, right? Okay, so, well, yeah. you know what? That's great. Let's, let's, let's get right into it. All right, so yeah. I'm going to get you to come down onto your hands and your knees. Okay. So you're going right. to face this way. Okay. And you're going to spread your fingers nice and wide. We're going to do like the token yoga posture, which is downward oh. dog. Oh, boy. Okay. okay. <laughs> so <laughs> you're going to make it, walk your feet a little bit closer. Okay. And with most athletes, and you come from an athletic past, yeah. so you probably have tight hamstrings. So we're going to just get you to bend your knees a little bit. Okay. Come right up onto the balls of your feet. Okay. And lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling. <laughs> so see how you're feeling really rounded here in your upper this back? This is a compromising position. <laughs> <laughs> so Especially on live TV. Walk your Jana. hands forward just a little bit more. We did not okay. discuss this ahead All right. of time. So this is downward dog. Now from here, you're going to come into a plank posture. So pretend you're doing a push-up okay. at the gym. You can okay. do that one, Oh, I right? can do that one, yeah. All right, so spread the fingers nice and wide. Okay. Except for instead of an athletic push-up, you're going to keep your elbows tucked into oh. your rib cage. Okay. Almost like a tricep push-up. And okay, you're going to yeah. bend your elbows just halfway down to the floor. Exhale. Yep. Yeah, now you're going to inhale. You're going to lift back up, but you're going to use your leg strength to lift back up. That's it. So you focus a lot on breath here. Exhale. Yeah. Come halfway back down. Good. Breathe in through your nose. Inhale. Come straight back up. Engage the hamstrings. Good. One last time. How's Exhale. my form? Your form's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, Am I good. arching my back too much? You're arching uh, your back. Lower back is swaying. Okay. So draw your pubis bone and your tailbone towards one another okay. and lift your front of your rib cage in. Good. And then from here, lift your hips up and back and come back into downward facing dog. Bend your knees a lot. Yeah. That's it. But good. Bend okay. your knees even more. Okay. So I, I, from here, you okay? I'm probably not alone when I'm like <laughs> going through this like super awkward phase. Like you got these big <laughs> athletes yeah. going what are you getting me to do here yeah absolutely Sorry. we just talked through it and yeah. um and let's go into another posture that's gonna okay. get you and i don't let them you, talk you look too so much. much more graceful than i do we should just watch you do it okay but uh, okay so okay, what's so the, from here we'll just yeah. step this right foot forward we'll make this easy let's okay. just come okay. into a okay. lunge posture okay. so it's really important anatomy so we don't want to injure the knee so the knee, knee never comes past the ankle yeah that's it we're gonna have a little bend into the left knee you're just gonna okay. come up into a lunge posture like this okay, okay? Yeah. and then from here whoa. for whoa for balance so lift whoa. your pelvic floor that's your deep yeah. core muscle yeah Reach your arms up overhead like so. Okay? And now you're just going to hover your left <laughs> knee above the floor. See, it's hard, right? Yeah. And, <laughs> and if you're not breathing, <laughs> you're starting to sweat already. Yeah, 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 totally. This is like harder than my That's hockey it. game last night. So from here, we're just going to work rotation. All athletes have a little a rotation component. So you're going to open your palms. Good. Yeah. Draw your tailbone down. Really important to keep the hips and the knees pointing forward. Jeez. Now you're going to reach forward with your left hand and extend your left yeah. heel back. I'm Stra cramping. Straighten your left leg. I'm cramping. Breathe. I'm shaking. <laughs> Good. I'm trembling. Left elbow to right knee. Okay. Good. Hands to a prayer posture. Yeah. And now rotate the spine so start to bring the thumbs towards your breastbone okay. so keep the hands together you know what? i'm going to reverse this yeah. for the okay. sake of tv oh sure so i don't have my back to the to our audience <laughs> but right, sure. okay so i'm i'm back like this yeah that's right hands okay. come together hands come to and then straighten this leg so use okay. your leg strength here there you go and breathe <laughs> i don't <laughs> no, feel like i have any leg strength after this okay good Jeez. and now from here look down at your toe we're just going to come into a balanced posture bring your arms out like airplane wings you are exposing me here on that's live right. tv you know that uh, i really don't have the strength that i and thought then, I Lift up into an airplane posture. That's like cheating. You shouldn't have played hockey last night. I know. You got me out there again. So, okay. So, what did you just do? You got to show okay, me that again. So, you're gonna, we're going to work the muscles around the knee, right? Really yeah. important for athletes to have yeah. that joint stability. Yeah. So, you're just going to float up into what we call oh. the modified airplane posture like this. Okay. And then from here, we start to add movements. Oh, my goodness. To build strength into the quads and the muscles that support the ankles and knees. Yeah? Always yeah. thinking of injury prevention. Yeah. Okay. Are you I'm coming along? It, it makes me sweat watching <laughs> you do it. Okay. 
Let All me right. try. That's it. So, and you're going to use the breath here. Okay. So exhale, bend right back into so the whole knee. breathing part. I like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like a big dumb jock. That's okay. <laughs> Panting so, away. And um, that's it. So, so, so I'm going to exhale. That's hands it. Hands out. Just, yeah. Okay. And then inhale, push into the foot. That's it. Exhale through the nose. Come down. That's it. Awesome. Inhale, lift back up. Hold on to it. Find your core strength. Inhale, lift up. Good. Pause Meditate. here. Yeah, step your feet together. Let the force flow through you. <laughs> Something like that. My like, inner Jedi. <laughs> I'm just going to let him go off now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> He's exactly. like flying Let somewhere. me just geek out here for a second. <laughs> okay, so let's step your feet together. Your okay. big toes are going to touch, and okay. you're just going to reach your arms overhead. Just a simple chair posture like so. Okay, okay. so. That's it. So, Good. yeah, okay. And then we'll just open through the pectorals and the tips of the shoulders. So reach yeah. around behind you. Yeah. Drop the knuckles down towards the floor. And okay. then as you do that, just lift your breastbone up and just get a nice stretch into the front of the ribs. Yeah. Easy, okay. right? That feels nice. And now drop we your We couldn't have started with this, Jenna. <laughs> really? Drop your tailbone down. Okay. So this is where we get into the fine tuning, right? What are you Making... dropping my tailbone down? So it means tucking your tailbone down between your heels. We just want to find a neutral pelvis. So yeah. then we have more extension into the thoracic spine. So you can breathe into the front of the ribs, yeah? Okay. Yeah. And you should feel short of breath here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was in short of breath like five minutes ago, but thanks. Yeah. So we're just stretching the intercostals okay. in the front of the rib cage, right? Just okay. increasing lung capacity and lung volume. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of this. Fold forward release. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Okay, okay. let's do one more posture. Um, yeah. We'll do the token um, stretch for all athletes. So okay. make a wide-legged position with your legs. Yep. Again, kind of precarious here. Yeah. And then <laughs> come down onto your hands and your knees, and you're just going to spin onto the insides of your knees. Okay? Crack, crack. Yeah. What, what is it crazy? Is cracking healthy? Or it, that it, you, as you, long you as we're not like... pulling anything in the knees or into the hips, I'm happy. Okay. Okay. Are we happy? Yeah, we're happy. Okay. Okay. So walk the hands forward. Okay. And then, that's it. So I'll move. Sorry, and okay. you just walk your hands forward. Maybe you should just do this, huh? No, it's, you're, you're fine. So don't move. No, you're not. You're, no. We're, we're not crab walking. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're, we're just coming down onto the forearms. So this is the posture. Okay. So if you can kind of help me okay. find this. That's it. Yeah. And then you might start yeah. to feel a stretch into the groin. If you're a uh, hockey guy, you're going to feel something. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So this one, I would we can just sit here for a while. Can we? That's great. <laughs> so this is like the restorative part of the practice that we do okay. at the end of yoga. Yeah. yeah okay. And uh, this is where we get into the connective tissue okay. and the joints and the bones. And okay. this is where the athletes really start to find increased range of motion and longevity, right? Are you noticing that right away? Like, you must have because that's why... You know, they keep coming back to see you is that they must have seen results right away. Absolutely. And it's, it's about, I have these benchmark postures that we do every class, so oh, I yeah. kind of gauge how they're doing every session. Yeah. And even since I started working with the Argos, okay. we, uh, we, we're Jana, seeing it happen. You're yeah. not going anywhere. We've oh. got more Jana after the break. You can Perfect. go to www.joga with Jana. Stay tuned. <laughs> Yes, yes, we're back, and as promised, I'm still here with Jana. Jana's been kicking my butt, if you, uh, if you haven't been watching already. Jana, I did not know you were going to do this to me today. I know. Like, here I have this thing in mind, the yoga is so, so calming and so, so easy. Right. It's not easy at all. Exactly. It's pretty phenomenal stuff. And I'm glad you said that because yeah. I think there's a huge misconception about yoga. Yeah. And uh, my first class, I was like, oh my God, I it was a sit down and breathe yeah. class. And yeah. I can't do that. I have an athletic okay. background. I need to go in and yeah. sweat and feel like I've right. accomplished something, right? Exactly. So that's a huge component of the yoga with Jana. Yeah. Um, but another huge component is the breath itself, okay. right? The breathing. So we're going okay. to get into breathing exercise that um, is kind of the token yogic okay. breath and what it does is it heats the body from the inside out so you're heating okay. muscle fibers in from the inside out wow. and it gives you like something to listen to while you're moving through those postures so you're okay. not panicking <laughs> okay. I'm already a bit wheezy from the hockey game yeah. last night so so All you're right. gonna the breath is an inhale and exhale through the nose so you're just gonna start okay. breathing in and out through the nose that's it and now you're gonna start to think more of a snoring sound into the back of your throat <laughs> so just go for it <laughs> That's it. Good. And oh. then you're going <laughs> to... Am I going to allow the spit? Yeah, so we, exactly. So we work through the phlegm and everything in the back oh. of the throat. Wow. Here, this is what okay. it's going to sound like. It's like oh. Darth Vader-like. It yeah. is. It's like, I am your father. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's it. And now exhale through the nose. Keep the mouth closed. That's it. You got it. A couple more times. Breathe right into the back of the throat. Good. Exhale through the nose. Good. In, gulp. gulp. Inhale right into the sides of the ears. <laughs> you got Inhale it. Inhale to got the it. sides of the ears? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I got it. So this breathing yeah, exercise, it. it's called Ujjayi Pranayama. Okay. And what it does, it's, it provides athletes or anybody, anybody that does this breath with instant focus. It's kind of a cleansing of the nervous system, wow. balancing okay. the left and the right side of the brain. Okay. So you can use it even, you guys can use it before you come on to your daily segments, yeah. right? Just to calm the nervous okay. system down. And get a, a good laugh out of and everybody. And get a good laugh out of everybody. If nothing else, That's eh? Right. Janet, it was a pleasure having nice. you. Thank I you would love to have me. you back because yeah. uh, <laughs> rarely do I feel like somebody's like totally just kicked my butt around, okay, the, around awesome. the gym. Yeah. And go figure, we were just kind of standing in one position doing, you know, strength That's endurance right. exercises. Yeah. Well, thanks for having yeah. me. Yeah, thanks very yeah. much for being okay. here. For more information, you go to www.jogawithjana.com. And still to come on Daytime Toronto, BIA Winter Magic Event. And we got author of Bad Girls and the Other Perils of Life, Yummy Treats with Fred's Bread. But now Alana is with the host of People Helping People. Take it away, Alana. <laughs> <sighs> thanks, Chris. Uh, pretty impressive stuff over there. Yeah.